Today I have with me Mitch Henderson, a painter whose uh, paintings are currently being exhibited at Wild Holly Gallery. Welcome, Mitch. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. <clears throat> now, how did you start painting? I just uh, pretty much sketched all my life. You know, as a little kid, I always had a fascination with figure, form, color, and um, it generally progressed over the years. I never really delved into it seriously until my uh, maybe mid-20s. I played in rock and roll bands all my life, and uh, my hearing doctor at one point said my hearing was going. I was losing the high-end hearing in my ears. So at that point, I sort of decided I wanted to change direction in life, and uh, my dad was a great painter. My brother was an excellent painter, and they sort of uh, just taught me the basics of painting, you know. And most of it's uh, <coughs> genetics, but I did study with one great painter. His name is Charles Sovac. He, he passed away about a year and a half ago, but he was an excellent painter. He's a great painter, and uh, I learned quite a bit from him. You know, he's just a, a world-class genius painter. Wow! And I absorbed a lot of uh, a lot of great stuff from him. The, and besides him, who were some of the other influences then for you? I'd say uh, Matisse, Van Gogh. Well, Van Gogh, I, I can certainly see. I mean, your yeah. use of painting as well as your stroke yeah. is very kind of Van Gogh. It's very broad and blunt oh, thank and you. Yes. there. Yeah. yeah, I go for the you bold know? color, the simple, <clears throat> simple brush strokes, and uh, Peter Max was also a, a good mm -hmm. influence on me mm -hmm. growing up. He uh, you know, has this, such great palette uh, of color he uses, and uh, I picked up a lot of uh, influence from him also. What <clears throat> sparks a painting? I mean, we can't see it, I'm not shut up, <clears throat> but there's one up here, you go all the way from John Wayne to of course Gracie and a yeah. couple other types of stuff. What sparks, your, what sparks a painting? I normally just uh, start with a good composition, you know, and if I get a good composition in my head, I you know, sketch it out on canvas, and then if it looks right, real solid, I'll just go for the bold colors, you know, the vibrant colors, rather than just a, you know, a, a bland palette. I just like bold, bold vibrancy and, yes. and uh, you know, the uh, strong blues and greens against the reds and oranges, just to make them pulse and vibrate. You know, I just, I just love that. It, Any special uh, projects going on? Obviously, um, one close to your heart. Yeah, this is. Uh, we've been working on this for about a year. It's Gracie's World, and uh, it's a book about Gracie, uh, written by Sharon Schmitz. I did the illustrations on it, and uh, we really focused on uh, a story about change. Uh, it's an analogy of a dog going through life's changes. Or where else can we see your work? Yeah, uh, MitchHenderson.com. Okay. Yeah, and here at Wild Holly's Gallery, and uh, I think Holly has a website too, WildHolly.com, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Well, again, Mitch, thank you so much. Thank you, Steve. Appreciate uh, it. You know, and the paintings are just wonderful. I mean, I'm I'm a big fan. I uh, thank you very I'm much. I'm a big fan. I, I like again the the bold colors, the 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 the, the broad strokes. You know, really yeah. something that says, "Hi, how you doing? Here's a painting," and not just another. You know. Exactly. Picture. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank so, you very much. Thanks, Mitch. It's been a great pleasure. Thanks for watching.